Hello everyone, so it looks like I have no time to rest and today I've been to a local shop to speak about the locket because we'll need to fix it. It has some play in both of the bearings. Now this one spins. Oh, so our angle kit is not in the best condition and we need to bring to someone to get it done, so... So I spoke with that guy at a local garage and he said that he may be able to reuse our other parts we have on this car already and we won't be using it anyways, so... Let's get to work, baby! So we have four bolts in total, two, one, and another one. Looks like I lied to you guys, there's another one bolt holding four connected with stabilizator. So we have everything loose more or less, but I'm not able to get to hammer that bolt down there, so probably I'm gonna remove this guy now. Ooh. Looks like those nuts don't want go off that easily and I'm taking a small smoke break and coming back soon. And just before smoke break I sprayed a WD-40. I started hammering it and it moved. Now only one left, probably the most trickiest one. And we have another one down. I just have to unbolt this bolt and we'll be done with forks. So I managed to remove that fork pretty easily and I decided to go a bit further and uh, remove brake support and uh, brake disc and then I'll see maybe I'll be able to remove hub as well. So I bet I'll have to humble those two, then maybe those two I'm not sure about these, then one, two, three bolts holding shock absorber and this guy. And here is our brake support loose. I'll remove brake disc so it's a one bolt holding it. Another three bolts to get shock absorber out. Bam ba dam. So we have our hub removed, but I broke the sensor it shouldn't be expensive but i don't think that we'll need it at all so it's nine o'clock in the evening and i decided to do same with the other side what i did with this one let's go <music> Now it's definitely more complicated with this side as it looks like everything's rusty and stuck. I had some difficulties by removing this bolt. Now the socket is stuck onto it and I need to loosen three more bolts from a shock absorber and then remove the sensor somehow. Everything went pretty well, but I managed to break both of those sensors, one bolt and one socket. I'll still have to disconnect both of steering rods and tomorrow I'll be bringing that angle kit to the guy I was telling you previously. I just got back from the garage and I left angle kit and other parts to that guy and he said he'll try to do the best he can to make it work. Cool. Hello again and it's about 10 o'clock in the evening so I decided to check if I'm able to unscrew those steering rods from steering rack. Yeah, 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 I already tried. I am using this plumber's wrench. I had to use some force but this one unscrewed. Oh, I'm not able to do it with my hands right now but I'll show you 
on that another one now i'm gonna remove this one then i'm gonna do another side don't forget to like share and subscribe let's make some light gopro has 32 percent left but i'll try to catch what i can maybe i'll remove a shock absorber tonight as well maybe maybe baby so i need to remove this cover first then then i put that plumber's wrench there and try to unbolt like a normal bolt now this is a stock versus what we'll be installing and uh, you can definitely spot a difference and that angle kit came with these plates to reduce camber as far as i know so now let's try to remove one shock absorber and we have this one out so i have to remove those somehow and these plates must go like that and i also have those studs out of shock absorber i used this heavy gun so now let's try and get this plate there and put this thing back in we finished installing this guy and i'd love to do another side but it's quite late and i'm missing one of these guys for that plate i'm installing so i have to sort something out tomorrow or maybe monday because probably no one's working tomorrow so i have to buy something similar or or i may be able to find somewhere in this mess but it's quite late and i'll be going home see you next time what's up everyone it's uh, monday's morning and this morning i went straight to the shop to get some parts for our angle kit and to get some parts for exhaust which needs to be finished and uh, now this guy's for our wastegate i struggled to get not for this guy but we'll modify something and it should be okay then a thread lock adhesive for angle kit and some nuts 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 I'm back again I'm gonna do other side so I'll be removing shock absorber like I did the last time then I'm gonna hammer all studs out and install camber plate and install shock absorber I managed to get bolts and nuts we were missing actually we were missing this one but I bought some other ones for our suspension so these for our steering rods I was thinking to remove those spacers and install it onto old rods but uh, this job looks too difficult to me I decided to fix this thread as you can see it's damaged and I decided to cut top of it so should be very very good I think if I didn't mess things up so now Rusty, 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 but not oily. Out. Now I'm gonna remove those studs by hammering it. I'll remove this one first, so this one gets closer to this guy. We have all of it nice and tight, and it's time to install it back. both of the sides done now and I saw somewhere damaged rubber so I'm gonna try and remove rubber from my old rods and try to install onto that one which has a damaged one this one looks all right and uh, I also bought thread lock adhesive I'll be putting it there but I'm not installing it today because I want to receive all the parts I left to that guy who is rebuilding it and uh, today I'm gonna try and uh, replace this rubber part and then I'll try and cut this damaged thread so we'll have everything prepared and when we'll receive angle kit rebuilt we'll be able to install it straight away go so I thought that I'm not gonna make it but it looks like I made it and uh, this one was pretty easy and for that one I used pliers and uh, it wasn't too bad as well now looks like the one we need to replace the rubber part holds only this another rubber part and it looks like it's the same guy holding bottom 
it would be nice oh look <laughs> it went off pretty easily so I'm gonna replace it with the new one and it should be all right so I managed to replace the rubber part and the top holder now the bottom one left and I'm not quite sure how to do it but let's hope I'll manage to get one of these onto this guy and let's hope that I won't break rubber part again in that case I'll have to remove another one so looks like I managed to install yellow spring on the bottom I didn't damage anything now let's fix this thread by cutting it it looks like this was a great idea now this one turns easily and uh, we reach the locking plastic and we still have thread left so everything should be fine and safe and see you next time in the same special episode but the next time i'll be installing full angle kit